Hey everybody, this is Josh from Pomeroy Creative. Just wanted to make a, another quick video for you. I'm doing a whole lot more uh, with cloud-based applications. Um, if you've been following my videos, you, you see that I'm using uh, Google Drive quite a bit. The applications that are built into Google Drive, I think are just phenomenal. Um, like Google Docs, Google uh, Presentations, and Google Drawings. I've been using Google Drawings a lot for some um, actual uh, client design work and uh, a, one that I recently actually started in Google Drawings. I finished out in a different application, but the entire um, the entire design was created uh, in started in Google Drawings, and um, uh, you got a peek at that if uh, you get a chance. Uh, you'll see the video in my one of my playlists. Um, and I, I won the design competition for our local radio station for their t-shirts. So they're going to be printing t-shirts with the design that I made, primarily using Google Drawings in a web browser. Um, so I just wanted to take you through today yet another project that I'm working on. I have a great client that I'm working uh, for, and uh, I have a logo a design that I, that I just finished, and we want to uh, use that new logo that, that we've created for them. Again, I'll, let me just go ahead and show you right here on the screen. Um, here is my logo folder in, in Google Drive. Um, starting, I'll just show you some of the, some of these things that are, are, are so great because I could I could actually move to any computer, even at the ones the library, and be able to access all of these files and open them and edit them without any uh, need to download proprietary software. So this is just sort of my my first page of um, of iterations. And one one of the things that I really love about Google Drawings is the ability to sort of work outside of the artboard or canvas or whatever you'd like to call it, the page. So you can pull things off of the off the actual canvas and uh, move things around any way you want. All of the shapes and the text that you create in Google Drawings uh, is vector-based. So you will get a nice vector output from those shapes and uh, text. Cool thing is when you download to a PDF or SVG, it will automatically convert all of the text in your document to curves, which is one of the things that uh, professionals will always recommend um, if you're using Illustrator or Corel Draw or those types of applications, because not every system will have the same fonts installed. So you, you'll want to convert those fonts to curves or uh, vector output. So it's just using nodes and, and curves to create shapes then of those particular characters. Uh, so that's really great. Google Drawings, when you download those, it does that automatically. And I've been able to test that out because I have a, a a vector application on my Mac. So a Mac or PC, it's really nice because you kind of get the best of both worlds. Um, if you use the Chrome browser, you get Chrome and you get all of the, the Chrome apps uh, and extensions, uh, as well as being able to use um, Mac software if you're on a Mac. Um, so just kind of really, really cool. Uh, but I'm still constantly sort of trying to push, I guess, the envelope, push the, the, the limit to, um, and uh, my wife has a Chromebook, so I'm, I'm always sort of trying out stuff on her Chromebook, as well as on the Mac using just uh, Google extensions and, and web apps, just to see how much I could do um, inside of a web browser. Um, so this is sort of how the logo started. It's really great just to be able to, you know, pull in the, um, uh, word art and change the fonts around. You get uh, a great uh, font library in uh, Google Drawings because it uses Google's fonts, uh, font web directory. So this is sort of where it started. They wanted kind of a um, Art Deco kind of feeling uh, for their logo. Then I've got a lot of different ones in here, just playing with different fonts and um, you know typefaces and uh, layouts. And then we went into uh, this one and got a little bit more polished here um, and then we did a color version as you can see right over here and 
finally, what I put together for them, again, using Google Drawings, was sort of a, a style guide or, or a design guide that uh, I was able to give them just some really easy, easy, easily accessible information all in one document. So I gave them the PDF so that they had all these CMYK colors, the hex RGB colors, and some of my notes here for the logo project. From there, now here's where we're at now. I'll go back to my folder structure here. The business card, I created a separate folder for that. And I've got two Google Drawings in here, just like I would have created um, in Photoshop, uh, a front and a back. Um, I could have done this in uh, Google Presentations and just used one document that contained two slides, a front and a back. For this one, I chose to use Google Drawings and do two separate uh, documents. So we'll open the front here, and I'll go ahead and open the back. So there's there's really nothing too complicated going on here, but I, I wanted to show you some of the things that you could achieve with just some simple things. I'm using photos for texturing. And um, if I zoom in on here, you can see there's a lot of detail here. This is a business card. So I've used a high resolution photo. And um, the, um, the image options in Google Drawings are just great. So that's right at like 90% uh, transparency. So it's uh, this picture that just kind of sits over everything except for the, the logo and kind of this uh, byline here or uh, tagline. And then I've used uh, a white circle in the background and then a semi-transparent white circle even behind that. And so that's that's how I've created this. Very simple. And then there's actually another um, very transparent image that just has basically some, some shading here in the background. So there's two images that kind of overlap each other. The background color, um, which is this blue here, the dark cornflower blue. Um, so some of that is showing through because those images on top are semi-transparent. And then I've got the logo just sitting in the middle. And again, that is that is all, as you see here, this is all shape information created with Google Drawings that I just put into a single group. The, so that's the, the front. The back of the card, or the info side, um, basically it's just a bunch of text. I've got a basic text box and then some word art. And I put those all into a group. And then I've used pieces of the logo um, as little dividers and decorative things. If you notice these, these little red bars on the top and here to the side, <clears throat> Those are my guides that I created so that I know uh, where to place my my text for bleed and trim. So this this I know is a quarter of an inch, and I wouldn't want any text to uh, be too close to these these uh, red guides. Now I can just move them off the canvas so that they will not be um, output when I download the uh, file as a PDF. Um, and the way that I figured that out, because there's there are no rule, rulers or guides in Google Drawings, is when I go to page setup, I create the document um, for the finished dimensions first. So this is going to be a standard size business card, which is um, three and a half or three point five by two. Then I give myself an eighth inch uh, bleed on each side. So you just add a quarter of an inch basically to each dimension, height and width. So you'd get 3.75 by 2.25. Um, and before I changed those dimensions, I created one shape that just covered the entire canvas. So I knew that shape was actually two and a half or three and a half by two inches. And uh, from there, I was able to create these smaller red rectangles um, that's uh, snapped right to the edges of my uh, sort of guide shape. I can show you how to do that in another video if you're interested. Just leave me a comment or question. Um, but I just wanted to show you the the, the results of this here. Um, <clears throat> it's 
since I'm on a Mac, I use Preview, and I can open up these PDFs and then um, export them as high-resolution JPEGs. And I go usually to 300 or 350 DPI uh, JPEG images so that I can upload those. And I use a service called GotPrint. Um, and here's a mock-up that I used. Uh, I did Photoshop um, and just dragged in the, the JPEGs that I exported from uh, Preview, which were just the exports from the PDFs that I created in Google Drawings. So all of the design work really was created using Google Drawings. And other than that, uh, basically just wanted to kind of, I can show you what I've been experimenting with and, and the real power of some of these web applications, you know, these things that live in your web browser that uh, anybody on any operating system has access to, whether you're on a Linux machine, a, a, a Chromebook, an Android device, a Mac or PC, you can create these kinds of really beautiful documents, and I hope you give it a try. Okay, guys, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching, and please hit the subscribe. Uh, you can also d donate to uh, help my channel if you'd like. I appreciate it. Bye for now.